my name is Raj Chetty, and I'm the William Ackman Professor of Economics at Harvard University and the Director of Opportunity Insights. What sparks uh, my passion and my research, which is focused on increasing equality of opportunity, giving kids of all backgrounds better chances of rising up, is my own personal experience. So my parents came to the United States, like many immigrants, in search of the American dream, search of better opportunities for themselves and their kids. And I have, uh, through that experience, seen the difference in the opportunities I've had relative to other friends and family in India and in other settings. And it's always struck me you know, how different people's circumstances are and how some people have much greater opportunities than others. And since a young age, I've been motivated by uh, those questions and try, you know, been interested in trying to understand how can we distribute opportunity more widely and give more people a shot at achieving the American dream of rising up and fulfilling their life goals. The thing I've been most heartened by in our research, we've released a number of studies on the science of economic opportunity, trying to understand how children's chances of rising up in the income distribution vary based on the school they attend or the neighborhood in which they grow up or who they're exposed to or which college they attend. And we've written various papers that using big data give us a very clear sense of how that all works. But what's most exciting is we've seen people making changes in policy at a national level, at a local level, across nonprofits in the United States and beyond, motivated by these findings helping, for instance, make changes in affordable housing policies that enable more kids to grow up in high opportunity areas where, where we see through our research, they're more likely to thrive years from now or changing the way that colleges admit students or how they're financed or changing the structure of schools and uh, education policies. So there are numerous different concrete areas of impact on policy that then in fact thousands of people's lives. And to me, that's what's most exciting about uh, working in the social sciences, where you can really see those tangible impacts uh, at the end of the day. The qualities you need to succeed as a researcher are first, passion. I think you need to be motivated by something you really care about. Uh, it can be a particular question, can be a particular uh, methodological approach that you're interested in bringing to the world, uh, you know, finding a cure for a particular disease, some big picture question that ultimately motivates your work. And then I think the key ingredients are tenacity and creativity, you know, being willing to keep at it in the face of many, many obstacles. If it was easy to figure out the answer, we would have already figured out the answer. So, you know, by definition, we're working on hard questions at the frontier of research. Uh, that's what makes it challenging and that's what makes it exciting. And I think then bringing creativity to bear, uh, coming at questions from new angles, acquiring the requisite technical skills needed to solve these problems, combining all of those ing ingredients leads to great research. What is your North Star? What are you ultimately motivated by? I think it's very hard to do good research if you're just motivated by publishing another paper in a good journal. I think if you're motivated by an important question that you care about, then you will naturally end up writing good papers that get published in good journals and all the career related things will follow. So I think the first thing is to identify what is it that you're excited to work on, even independent of the day-to-day -day publication related issues and so forth. What is it that, you know, in the evening when you're going for a walk, your mind gravitates toward. I think you want to identify that kind of question. And once you do that, thinking systematically about, you know, how can I construct an agenda towards answering that question? You're not going to find the cure for cancer in, you know, the next paper, but uh, you can have a set of building blocks that can make progress toward that question. And I think working systematically, recognizing that there may be obstacles along the way, uh, can be a useful path to a productive and rewarding career.